my name is Warren Cohen. Um, I'm the Collections and Exhibitions Officer at the Burton Art Gallery and Museum. I welcome you today to the Reg Lloyd Collection, which is part of the museum in the Burton Art Gallery. Um, and I would like to share some of the pots on display with this small little cream jug, which is being beautifully decorated with a technique called sgraffito. And it's showing a lifeboat with the men inside and this man on the front of the, the boat throwing out this huge anchor to a perishing ship which is obviously into some sort of distress in the actual, you know, in, in a, or imagine in the round Biddeford Bay. Um, on the actual jug we've got this beautiful little few lines. It's, I throw out, throw out the lifelines and rescue the perishing. Right, what I'd like to show you now is this particularly interesting piece at the bottom here, um, which is known as a tobacco jar. And what used to be kept in there is obviously tobacco. But as you can see by the inscription on the front, we've got the tobacco word, and we've got this beautiful graffito decoration of a tobacco plant. Contained in this cabinet is a selection of pieces which um, I think are quite unique and something which you don't necessarily see today. And as you can see by the four pieces on the outside here, they are bricks, bog standard bricks. But what makes them unusual is that they have inscribed on them the actual name of the brickworks where they were actually made. Um, and this one you can see is uh, Milton of, of Biddeford. And this one here is Lauder and Smith from Barnstable. So you've got a, a Barnstable brick and you've also got a bit of a brick. The brick industry um, is these three examples of North Devon slipware which show the poems which have been reproduced on each of the pieces. Now the poems have been reproduced using the technique Scafito as we saw in the earlier cream jug and the potter has literally just scratched into it as if he was writing with a pencil and what it's left is the darker colour of the clay, the Framington clay and the end result are these inscribed poems on these two handled mugs. As you can see each one of them has the same poem on and obviously this is working to a formula which actually sold. So this is a good example of a factory churning out the same pieces for a market. Right, what I'd like to show you now is another technique which was used to decorate North Devon slipware. And it was using leaves, and it's a leaf resist pattern which the potter would have used, replaced a real leaf over the, in, on top of the slip, covered it with slip, and then peeled it off, or it would have been left on there, and to, when it went into the kiln, it would have burnt and would have left this beautiful silhouette of the leaf which was placed on there. In contrast to that, you can see by the pieces next to it, the scafita technique of decorating a plant or sunflowers in that case. But if you look on this one very closely, you can see exactly the same type of leaf. which.